now we have The Pelican and the Peacock by Sally Whitman. For Noah and Emily, if wishes were fishes. Peek, peek, shouted Pelly the Pelican. Where are you? I'm standing behind you, said Peek the Peacock. Why are you shouting? I have found something, said Pelly. Can you guys guess what it is? I will try, said Peek. Will you give me a hint? Okay, said Pelly. I will give you one hint. It is very soft. Peek sat down to think. Is it a rose petal, he asked. No, said Pelly. Is it a raindrop? No, asked Peek. No, said Pelly. Then give me one more hint, said Peek. This is the last hint, said Pelly. It begins with the letter F. Is it a bit of fuzz, asked Peek. No, said Pelly. Is it a scrap of fur, asked Peek. No, said Pelly. You are not even close. Wait, said Peek. I have one last guess. I have been saying it. Is it a fish? That is a very good guess, said Pelly. I wish it were true, because I am getting hungry. But it is wrong. Then I give up, said Peek. Will you tell me what it is? Look, said Pelly. I have found a feather. My, said Peek. It is a very handsome feather. May I have it? Of course you may have it, said Pelly. Thank you, said Peek. Now I have a game to play, Peek said. It's your turn to guess. Oh, goody, said Pelly. I love games. What shall I guess? Guess what I will do with this feather, said Peek. Hmm, what a hard game, said Pelly. I will give you a hint, said Peek. It begins with the letter T. Are you going to tidy up with the feather, asked Pelly. No, said Peek. Are you going to tap with the feather, asked Pelly. No, said Peek. Are you going to eat it, asked Pe Pelly. Eat does not begin with the letter T, said Peek. But it ends with a T, said Pelly. And besides, I am still hungry. Wait, said Pelly, I have one last guess. Are you going to play tag with the feather? No, but you are getting closer, said Peek. Then tell me, said Pelly, please. Well, said Peek, with this handsome feather, I am going to tickle you. Tick tock. Pelly woke up. He looked at Peek. Peek was still asleep. Today is Peek's birthday, said Pelly. I will give him a clock so he will not sleep late. It must be a very special clock. Peek is a very special clown. Pelly closed his eyes. He remembered a very special clock. It hung on his mama's wall. It was a cuckoo clock. It looked like a tiny house, and the house was a tiny bird. Every hour, the tiny bird hopped out and sang cuckoo. One time for each hour. Pelly hopped out of the bed. Goody, he said. I will make a cuckoo clock for Peek's birthday. Pelly worked hard all morning. Soon the clock was ready, but Peek was still asleep. Wake up, Peek, said Pelly. It's your birthday, and here's your gift. Thank you, said Peek. Is it a playhouse? No, said Pelly. It's a clock, so you will not sleep late. Oh, said Peek. Why is it so big? Because, said Pelly, this is a very special clock. He said, look, Peek. It's almost 12. Jump back into bed. Pretend you are asleep. Peek got into bed. He peeked out of peeked out of the covers. The hands on the clock were at 12. Slam, bang, the doors of the clock opened. Pelly stood there grinning. He flapped his wings and sang cuckoo 12 times, one time for each hour, and then he was quiet. How do you like it, he asked. I think it is, began Peek. Is what, said Pelly. It is the funniest clock I ever saw, said Peek. Peek rolled over on the floor. He was laughing and screeching. Pelly went back into the clock. He closed the doors. Then Peek stopped laughing. Pelly, he said, I'm sorry for laughing, but you make very funny. You make a very funny cuckoo bird. Please come out now. Pelly did not come out. Pelly said, Peek, you will miss lunch. We are having fish soup. There was not a sound, not even a peep. So Peek sat down to wait. At one o'clock, the doors opened and Pelly hopped out. He flapped his wings and sang one last cuckoo. Then he went to the table. He sat down. Did you say fish soup? He said, I will have two bowls, please. Sure, said Peek. You know, said Pelly, being a pelican is a lot more fun than being a cuckoo bird. Cuckoo birds have fun only once an hour. Pelicans have fun all day long. Baking day. I will bake a cake today, said Peek. Yum yum, said Pelly. What kind of cake? An upside down cake, said Peek. Will it be a pineapple upside down cake? A peach upside down cake? Or a cherry upside down cake, asked Pelly. None of those, said Peek. It will be a plain upside down cake. May I watch, said Pelly. You can help, said Peek. Peek put on his apron. He got a deep bowl and a big spoon. He put a stick of soft butter in the bowl. He added some sugar. Then he mixed until you could not tell the butter from the sugar. He added two eggs and stirred until you could not see the eggs anymore. He had one cup of milk and one cup of flour, a little at a time. 
He stirred until all the lumps were gone. Then he poured it into a pan. When can I help, said Pelly. Now, said Peek, help me turn the stove upside down. Why, said Pelly. That is what makes an upside down cake, said Peek. I will help you, said Pelly, but it sounds funny to me. Pelly and Peek lifted the stove and they turned it upside down. Peek pulled the oven door and put in the cake. He gently closed the door. The cake must bake for an hour, he said. Pelly and Peek went outside to wait. I will water the flowers, said Peek. I will read the newspaper, said Pelly. Pelly looked at the newspaper. The date was April 1st. Now I understand, he thought. It's April Fool's Day. Peek is playing a joke on me. I will play one back on him. After a while, Pelly got up. Excuse me, he said. Maybe the cake is done. I will go and look. Peek waited. Pelly did not come back, so Peek went to find him. Pelly was in the kitchen. He was standing on his head. What are you doing, said Peek. I am eating a piece of right side up cake, said Pelly. A piece of what, said Peek. A piece of right side up cake, said Pelly. When I am upside down, the cake is right side up. It is delicious. Try a piece. Peek cut the piece of cake. Then he stood on his head and took a bite. April fool, said Pelly. The joke is on you. You win, laughed Peek. I fooled you first, but you fooled me last. Pelly and Peek and their ate their right side up cake and they stood right side up and had a piece of upside down cake. Right side up or upside down, it was a very tasty joke. A fish story. Pelly and Peek were at the seashore. What a fine day it is, said Peek. I feel so good. I feel like opening my fantail. Stand back and close your eyes. Pelly stood back. He closed his eyes. He heard a rattle. He heard a whoosh. Open your eyes, said Peek. Razzle dazzle, said Pelly. You look like a rainbow. It was nothing, said Peek. All the peacocks look like this. I wish I did too, said Pelly, but pelicans are not so fancy. Peek began to strut. Pelly tried to strut too. I cannot do it, he said. My strut is a waddle. Do not be sad, said Peek. I will think of a way to cheer you up. Peek sat on a log to think. He jumped into the air. Did you get a splinter, asked Pelly. No, I got an idea, said Peek. We can go fishing. Goody, said Pelly. Pelly waddled into the water and began to swim. You forgot your fishing pole, called Peek. I never used one, said Pelly. Be careful, called Peek, for the water is deep. Do not worry, said Pelly. I can swim very well. Pelly dipped and splashed. Are you coming in, he called. No, thank you, called Peek. I hate to get wet. I will fish from the shore. Peek put a worm on his hook. He tossed the hook into the sea. Then he waited for a fish to bite. The sun was warm on Peek's face. It made him feel lazy. He shut his eyes and fell asleep. The little fish swam by. He took a bite of Peek's worm. He pulled and swam away with the worm and the hook and the line and the pole. Peek woke up. Come back with my pole, you screeched. It was too late. Peek looked up. Pelly was watching, waddling out of the water. Oh, Pelly, cried Peek. A fish stole my pole. Pelly grinned. He did not say anything. Did you catch a fish? asked Peek. Pelly opened his bill. He dropped 16 fish onto the sand. There were 20, he said, but I had a little snack. Good work, said Peek. Ho hum, said Pelly. It was nothing. Fish is, fishing is easy for a pelican. You see, said Peek, we are both good at some things. Yes, he laughed, Pelly, and not so good at others. Pelly and Peek went home. Peek strutted, and Pelly waddled. But they both felt good inside. The end.